Hey YouTube shooting people, I want to review, do a review on a holster that I just picked up. I ordered it. It took a um, relatively short amount of time to have it made and shipped to me. It's a uh, Silent Thunder holster from Garrett Industries right here. Uh, I think you can see their card. There's the back of the card. I'd seriously check these people out. Good folks to deal with, they make a hell of a product. Um, for competition holsters, I like Kydex. The problem with Kydex, if it's an all Kydex holster, is it can wear away the finish on your gun. I don't care so much about this gun, but I have an, a 70 series that's being customized and completely re -blued. I want to, I want to sort of protect that finish. Leather, depending on the quality of the leather holster, tends to wear less. Um, so this is sort of the best of both worlds. You have that rigid holster, it's because it's made out of Kydex, but it's leather lined. This is leather lined Kydex, right? I'm really impressed with this so far. Okay. This is, in fact, is one of the only holsters I've ever gotten um, or received, you know, right out of the bag that they ship it in that pretty much fits the gun perfectly without making any adjustments. Yeah, you know, you can adjust the tension for the um, retention of the holster. But um, this, this, makes me feel like it's been molded really, really well and I aim in fact correctly. Um, I want to point out some features. First of all, the overall footprint of the holster is small, which makes it more comfortable to wear, even though it's an outside the waistband holster. That does make a difference. So that's one issue. The attachment to your belt can be replaced. There's uh, numerous um, uh, options that you can uh, attach to this holster to make it compatible for you. And just the f overall fit and finish is just spectacular. Let's try to zoom in here and give you a look at this. Uh, I think you get a feel for this thing. So, you know, you think Kydex, Kydex holsters can be a little bit uh, junky sometimes. This one definitely isn't. They use stainless steel parts, okay, here. Now, that's a big deal because typically this is, these are, take on a little bit of rust if they're just steel and you can see they're using brass here uh, connectors right it's pretty nice this silent thunder holster is in fact um, their their competition model it's got a speed cut here I'll show you what that means and there's no body shield um, you just don't need it what you know whatever floats your boat let's uh, see what this looks like here's a 1911 safety check it. There's no magazine. There's nothing in the chamber. Uh, I disagree with the idea that you shouldn't do this actually, but I dropped the hammer in a safe direction. And um, there's lots of good reasons for that. Anyway, Smith & Wesson 1911. I'll put it in the holster. There you go. The retention's pretty good. You can make it looser. I probably will, but Overall, the fit into the holster is spectacular. And this is what it looks like. There's your speed cut, so it's not covering your breech. So you can uh, draw a little bit quicker when, you, when you're coming out. Does it make that much of a difference? Man, I, I don't know. If you're drawing from retention, you can come out a little bit sooner. If you see what I'm saying. Of course, there's leather in it, so there is some break-in required, but not much. And um, it, it'll break in soon enough. But it's the only thing you're hearing is actually my front serrations rubbing a little bit, but this is um, this is pretty nice. So again, this holster is not for this gun, although it, it, it works um, you know really really well for it. Um, it. Comes with a little Allen wrench to adjust this. This is just a really really nice, really really nice setup. Um, I'm just really very impressed. The whole idea is to have a leather line holster to protect the finish of my gun, which should be, you know, done, my new gun, or my customized old gun, I should say, which should be done, um, you know, any day now, back from bluing. It's got to get put back together, um, sighted in, and, um, and ready to go. Um, so, Just a great product. I, I'd seriously give them uh, give them a, a look. They're not the cheapest in the world, but I think this is a really a case of you get what you pay for. I hope you can see the leather in here. 
quality is is really 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 nice you know it's even molded to the extent you can see here the indentations um, that are that are built to to deal with your magazine release uh, accommodate that even an extended magazine release um, um, yeah I mean what, what can I say it's just great I also want to point out that it you know it, the way it's been molded, it's been molded properly. That there's actually enough compression on these rubber spacers to prevent the screws from back, backing out. They're essentially working like a washer, right? There you go. I'd seriously give them a look. This is a great company. Good to deal with. Made in the good old USA. And they've just got a fine product. I think you can appreciate, even on camera, how well this thing is finished off. It's, um... It's really, really nicely done. I would say it actually beats some of the more popular holsters in terms of its overall quality. Alright, that's all I got for you. Thanks.